Question number 156 students. In Miller's initial electric discharge experiment, after 18 days, significant amount of organic compounds began to appear. Which of the following amino acids was not obtained? Glycine, alanine, aspartic acid, lysine. So when he completed the experiment, he carried chemical analysis of what all amino acids are obtained. As per the data of the experiment, glycine was obtained, alanine yes, aspartic acid as well, but lysine was not formed in the chamber where he carried out the chemical analysis. So lysine was not part of the products formed after the experiment. The correct answer is lysine and the answer is fourth. Also remember which amino acids were formed. Alright, question number 157. Which of the following is the correct chronological order of epochs from ancient to recent time? Various combinations of the epochs of tertiary period are given. Let's go over them one by one. When we write about periods, epochs and their age. How old are they? How many million years ago? All of these epochs belong to tertiary period. The oldest was Paleocene, then came Eocene, after which Oligocene followed, after which Miocene, which was followed by Pliocene. And if we see the age, this is the oldest. It was 65 million years ago. Eocene was about 57 million years ago. Oligocene 34, Miocene 23, and Pliocene about 5 million years ago. So we have to find the chronological order from ancient to recent times. We are going from ancient to recent times. First comes Paleocene, then Eocene, then Oligocene, which makes option 3 the correct option here. The right answer is option number 3. Question number 158 students select the incorrect match with respect to period and its important events. The Ordovician period is called the age of invertebrates that's correct. The Carboniferous period age of amphibians that's also correct. Devonian period is also known as age of fishes that's right. Cambrian age of reptiles, that's incorrect. Reptiles diversified much, much later on in the Mesozoic era, while these all periods are from the Paleozoic era. That is why the option 4 is incorrect, which makes it our right answer. Answer is 4. Question number 159 students, which of the following is considered as the first one toed horse? Hyracotherium, Pliohippus, Merichippus or Equus. Now Pliohippus and Equus both are one toed horse but the earlier or the first one here is Pliohippus while Hyracotherium is four hoofed is horse with four hoof toes and Merichippus is with three hoof toes. So the Pliohippus would be the first one toed horse. The correct answer is option number two Pliohippus answer is 2. Also you can remember this had 4 hoofed. Let me write it here. Hyracotherium has 4 hoofed toes while Merichippus had 3 hoofed toes. The equus is the modern horse. This has one toad, but it's not the first one. Question number 160. For the MN blood group system, the frequencies of M and N alleles are 0.6 and 0.4 respectively. The expected frequency of MN blood group bearing organisms is likely to be. All right. We are asked to find the frequency of MN blood group bearing organism. Let's go over on it step by step. According to the Hardy-Weinberg principle, this question can be solved. Let me just calculate it. The expression given 
is p square plus q square plus 2 pq which always equates to 1 here p is m and q is n so if you have to find out the frequency of mm individuals that would be p square which would be 0.6 whole square 0.36 or also known as 36 percent similarly for nn individuals it would be q square which would be 0.4 whole square 0.16 or 16 percent so the question is asking about mn blood group the mn individuals their frequency can be calculated by 2 pq which gives us 2 into 0 0.6 and 4 0 0.6 0 0.4 which would be 2 into 2 4 or 0 0.48 which is equal to 48 percent so uh, this is our answer 48 percent the correct option would be option number 4 here the answer is 4